Hello everybody and welcome back to KSV. I say welcome back even though this is a standalone video, but whatever. Anyways, as you can see here, I have a rocket car. A very simple rocket car at that. And uh, the reason, well actually there's two reasons why. For one, in the newest update, uh, they fixed the wheels so now they can go really really fast without breaking and dying. And uh, that's really great. And well actually also I haven't made a rocket car before and I wanted to. But anyways, I was watching, you know, my usual YouTube uh, subscriptions. One of them is Scott Manley because he does really good videos, and he had made a uh, a Kerbal version of the Bloodhound rocket car, which is aiming to uh, break the land speed records. And I was watching, and I was thinking to myself, yeah, I could, I could do that, or at least I, you know, I, I'd like to build a rocket car because I don't think I actually ever have in KSV, which is strange because you would think I would because everyone has. Uh, anyways, so this is what I came up with. This is actually like, like the third version of it or something like that, but. Whatever, it's very, it's very simple. I originally had like an air breathing like engine and stuff on it, but it, it didn't work. Uh, so yeah, this is a piece of garbage back here from the, like the landing device, but uh, I'm gonna keep it there as a um, a marker to determine distance, and it's gonna be great. But yeah, if um, actually I'm moving this, if you don't or if if you don't watch Scott Manley's videos, I highly recommend you do because they're always really good. Um, he he does a lot of really good. Um, Kerbal tutorials, a lot of just interesting Kerbal videos, and even just general science and astronomy videos. He's a um, he's a very interesting person, and his videos are like orders of magnitude better than mine. And he's actually the person who introduced me to KSB because I'd never even heard of it before. I watched one of his videos, so we can thank him for that. <laughs> really cool guy. But anyways, yes, um, let's get this party going, shall we? <laughs> So we're gonna see if we can get up to at least nine, at least 900 to 1,000, and then we'll cut there and break and you know throttle back. So here we go. Right out of the gates. Already past 100. Already past 200. 300. 400. 500. 600, 700, starting to bounce a little bit, 800, 900, 900. oh, so close to a thousand. Okay, now we're starting to turn, so let's cut the engines and we'll try to fix that for the next run. Oh yeah, see, look at that, we're flying sideways. We'll definitely have to fix that. I'm afraid to click or to turn it manually because I'm just I just know it's gonna break. Ah, there we go. Why does the like the frame rate keeps st like lurching like that. Forty-four kilometers in however many minutes, however, however long that was, and that was up to nine hundred and seventy-four meters a second. That's not actually not bad. It's actually not bad. But I suspect we can do better. Right, uh, I've upped the gravity. Well. I've doubled the gravity to see if we can get some more uh, traction on those wheels and maybe improve our stability. But, uh, yeah, okay, well, let's just dive right into it, shall we? Oh, let's turn off the brakes. It's like my first driving exam. Or actually, it was like my third one when I, I passed the entirety of the exam, but I failed because I forgot to pull off the uh, parking brake soon enough. Life's hard. Anyways, uh, 500 meters a second. 600. 700. 800. Turn to turn again. 900. 1,000. Excellent. 
seem to have t tip, uh, maxed out at 1,005, 6, 7, 6, 7. Well, okay, we, we hit 1,007, but we only maintained 1,006 at any sta stable, like a stable kind of pace, so... I'm pro I'm I'm gonna have to stick with 1006 because I wasn't able to hold 1007 at a like stably. So although we we may have hit that, um, I can't. Hmm. I wonder if we can breach the 1007. At any rate, we've made it to 51.1 kilometers away from the target. That's pretty impressive, if I do say so myself, actually. Alright, now, for this run, we're going to keep infinite propellant on, so that it'll basically never run out of fuel. And, you know, <laughs> we're going to try to see if we can break it. Uh, the final run, I'll actually try to do it legitimately, you know, using... Well, I guess that last run was pretty legitimate, minus, I just, minus increasing the gravity, but... Whatever. I should have put, uh... Spoilers on this. Alright, 1,000, or 100. 200. 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, Brakes are still on. Beautiful. 900. 1,000. 1,000, 1,000, 8. 1,000, 9, 1,000, oh. I wish it would stop lurching like that. 1,011. 1010. So we're kind of topped out at 1010. Well, actually, no, we, we held 1011 for a few seconds, but I don't. <laughs> look at her face. Oh, look at that. We hit 1011, 1012, and we're holding 12 for a few seconds. We're holding it stab stable. Hot damn. 1013. 'm we're still on the ground we haven't lifted off if I had a uh, temperature on we'd be dying right now okay I think we've hit yeah 1013 stable for a few seconds so I'm assuming this car uh, using actual, like, fuel and stuff. Oh. We're getting close to the shoreline. Ah, screw it, why not? Using the actual thrust. Um. Oh, look at that. Look at the ice sheet. That's cool. Uh, how... F wow. We've covered the poles. That ice sheet is so cool! Okay, I have to bring in my one of my bathyscaphs over to this ice sheet and explore this wall. That's really cool. Anyways, that's not that's not the point of this video. All right, for the final run, we're just gonna have everything off. It'll just be completely standard. Uh, cause I think that just by itself it can reach about a thousand and nine. However, I suspect it'll burn up before hitting that. But uh, whatever. We're gonna find out. <laughs> So this is just by itself, no infinite fuel, no max heat, whatever. If the gravity's normal, it's probably going to crash and explode, but we're going to see. Alright, 100, 200, 
300. 400. 500. 600. Starting to turn. And shimmy. 700. Uh, ooh, 800. Starting to heat up. 900. 1,000. Holy hell! Okay, so uh, it would appear 1,086 in normal gravity and whatever is the maximum. Well, it's actually a really good run. However, it's not over yet. We still have to make sure our Kerbal doesn't die. Because I, for one, have probably uh, killed this poor Kerbal enough times already. Oh, we're skidding on the ice. Wow. That was impressive. How far away were we? 50, 51 kilometers. Huh, so we without any hacks on, uh, we top out at 1,068. That was really cool. Huh. Well, anyways, uh, that was my attempt at a land speed record. Um, it, somebody else probably done better. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and space.